Hey Google, change dining room brightness to 100%. Okay. See? Oh, okay. So on this video, we're going to be changing a regular Lutron dimmer. So if you hear it's creating a buzz, when it's creating a buzz, that means that it is a crappy dimmer switch. So we're going to be changing this Lutron to this TP-Link CASA Smart Wi-Fi light switch. Uh, this is a three pack. It works with Google and Alexa and smart things. Hey Google, turn on Playroom. Hey Google, change Playroom brightness to 100%. This is your neutral, this is your ground, and then you need to hook up your load, and then you have your line. So wire that has the power goes into the bottom, and then if you want to extend it to the next receptacle, you will put the other black in here and then extend it out to the next receptacle. Because we're gonna do this under power. Do not do this unless you're a certified electrician like we are. But you always want to turn off the breaker. But for this demonstration, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you can see instant results here. Now this particular switch also accidentally controls the lights in that living room, even though it's a different circuit. So that is a sure sign that you have a very bad um, switch. So again, if you have a loud buzz coming from the switch or your dimmer switch is controlling another dimmer in a house on a different circuit, that means that you want to swap this out and get something better. In our case, we've already installed this one. Here's what it looks like. So this one's got two buttons, one to lower the brightness, one to increase the brightness. And this is the on and off and this has a Wi-Fi functionality. So instead of pressing the button, it's actually going to go and automatically dim it for you. Very similar to how we have it installed here. Hey Google, change dining room brightness to 100%. Okay. See, so that light switch is also installed on that same switch. You can also add timer functionality. So at dusk and at dawn, it's going to turn on or turn off automatically, which is very convenient for pot lights. So the bottom is always the hotline. So up here. Oh, okay. So that's what happens when you have two electricians. So this is a Klein 2 voltage pen. So this one, see, this one's got power. This one is your regular. There's nothing here. You can touch this. You've got the black screw. So this is where your power. So your power is going to go to the black. So we're connecting the neutrals together. Green, which is your ground, gets connected to the copper wire. So your power is going to go to the black. You can see it's sparking. So the line gets hooked to the bottom bottom black screw. And if you have any other black cables, that goes to the top. Yes. So now this this moves the power to the top. If you don't have another black cable, you don't put anything on this. You just hook up the black and then the white goes to your neutral and then your green goes to your ground and that's it. And then now you can see that the light is outside and we're going to go and increase. You can see that the light is again dim. No, no. Off, on. And then we can increase the brightness on here as well. So that's your yeah. dimness. And then you got your dim up. Yeah. There you go. So it works. So now you can just program this on the on the phone, and then you have your <laughs> Google working. So you want to go and download the Casa TP Link app. It's going to ask you for your email address, phone number, stuff like that. Make sure you are on your 2.4 gigahertz internet network, and then we click plus. Okay. So now, what would you like to add? Device. Okay. From here, we're going to select smart switches. Even though you can get tons of other things from Casa, and this is HS220, which is smart dimmer. All right, and it's going to ask you if you already installed it. If you haven't, it's going to show you steps on how to actually install it and hook it up. But if you have, we're going to go yes. All right, so after 15 seconds, look at the front of your smart dimmer. Is the Wi-Fi light blinking orange? So in our case, it's solid. So we're going to go and press reset here until it starts blinking. There you go, five seconds, and now we're good to go. Next step, yes. Okay, so in a couple of seconds, it should identify that there is actually... Uh, a pairing mode, see, and it's identified that. Do only one at a time. Now it's connecting, now it says connected. And now you need to choose the network to connect to. So now this is your internet Wi-Fi network. So if you're already connected to 2.4 or is it 2.6, one of those networks, then great. If not, make sure you switch down and you switch and connect to your 
2.4 gigahertz, not your five. So we're gonna select next. And because we already set up our password, we're good to go. Click join. Okay, go to your phone's internet settings. Make sure that you're in the internet network. I am, so I'm gonna click, I'm already connected. And now it's gonna to attempt to connect the Wi-Fi switch to my network. Okay, and it looks like it's worked. Let's give it a friendly name. So we're gonna call this uh, Outdoor Pot Lights. Pot Lights. You can always adjust this later, but remember, whatever you put in here is what you're gonna say on Alexa or Google Home Assistant. Okay, now you can take a picture to identify what this is, but I mean, I really don't care. So we're just gonna go save. All right, so now the set dimming range, slowly reduce your brightness of your smart dimmer until you find the minimum level bolts light. So this one, for example, when we turn this one on, this is the lowest level, right? So if I wanted this to be lowest level, say midway, then I could actually adjust that in the app. So when, when I went zero brightness, it really wouldn't be zero brightness, it would be about 40% brightness. So you can adjust it on your own. With us, we're gonna make sure that the lowest possible dimming level is zero. So we're gonna go and adjust this. And we're seeing this little dot go all the way to the end. That means that that's the lowest. And we're gonna go There you go, to the bottom, and now we're gonna to go to the top. Just make sure it's working, and then we're gonna go and adjust this all the way up too. Okay, and now we're gonna go and do a test. And now ideally you can see that as that's going up and down, you see? It's dimming and it's making it. So we're all good, so we're gonna call it's all good. And continue. And congratulations. So that is how easy it is to set up your CASA TP-Link smart dimmer. Now, the next step is to see if this actually worked. So there you go, outdoor pot lights. So we're going to go and just open this up. You can't see them because it's still bright, but you can see that there is a light on right there. So we're just going to go and turn this off uh, right there. And you can see that it's working. Good. So the next step is to try and get this going on your Alexa or Google Assistant. So to do that, we're going to go and open up our Google Home. So at the very bottom of your home, you should see outdoor pot lights. It's right here. We click on this and it's already synced with it. If it's not, what you're going to have to do is again, go to your home and click plus. Now in plus, click set up a device and click works with Google. Now we're going to search for CASA, K-A-S-A, -A, right there. And you can see that for us, it's showing two devices connected. But if I wasn't, it would ask me to essentially log in with my login and password that you've initially set up with TP-Link. Once you do that, it's basically just gonna log in and it's always gonna be logged in. And then it's it, it's gonna be working. Now you can go and assign your device to any of your rooms. So if you have an outdoor thing, you can do it. But for us, uh, outdoor is independent, so we can just leave it on here. So now it should work. Let's test this out. Hey Google, turn on outdoor pot lights. So that works. And now you can see that I can adjust the brightness the way I want it, and I can also adjust it with my voice. Hey Google, adjust outdoor pot lights to 20%. All right, setting the outdoor pot lights brightness to 20%. There you go. That's how easy it is to get these switches going. Now this is very convenient because you can also do pre-scheduling, meaning that every night at a certain time you can turn on the pot lights and every morning uh, you can turn off the pot lights automatically. You can do the same thing with this. We actually do this with uh, this dining room light. Um, so every uh, dusk, it just kind of turns on at the lowest possible percentage point just so we can get that brightness. Plus it's also great because if you're not home, then you can turn on your lights automatically. And if somebody wants to maybe rob you or whatnot, then they're gonna think that there's somebody home. So very great way of controlling your home and very cheap as well way to set up like a, a mini security system without any sirens. Anyways, that's my video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you